when we started getting used to three forty a gallon for gas, it shoots up nearly sixty cents. It went up almost everywhere in Michigan Thursday, and it turns out our state is only one of a handful seeing that surge. Hannah Saunders explains why it's happening and if it could spill over four bucks in the near future. It's another price hike catching drivers off guard and everyone here I've talked to says they feel like it's just going to get worse. It's ridiculous. Waited for the gas price to go down and, it's, and today it's gone up. I don't have any extra money to go to the mall or to give my mom a good present. The people at GasBuddy.com tell me while the country's average is now at a huge 16 cent per gallon price drop from this time last year, Michigan is going in the opposite direction, selling it at 7 cents more per gallon than last August. MSU economist Charles Ballard tells me it's mostly because three refineries in Illinois and Indiana are malfunctioning and at the same time a pipeline in Canada broke, putting our gas stations right in the middle of it all. That leads to really tight supplies. But he says the prices shouldn't get much worse or stay where they're at for long. Refineries and pipelines are usually fixed in a couple weeks at the most. However, when the price of gasoline spikes upward because of a supply problem. It usually goes up faster than it then comes down. Meaning you should expect it to be a month or two before you're paying what you were for gas earlier this week, as long as there are no new problems here or in the Middle East. In Lansing, Hannah Saunders, Fox 47 News. Now keep in mind, prices are still nowhere near what most experts expected this summer. Some expected gas would get up to $5 because of international oil prices. That didn't happen because of a drop in domestic prices.